What's good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm uh I'm here in Tokyo at the moment. I, uh Yeah, yeah, it is it isn't actually it's actually very cloudy. I think it's going to rain outside, but at least I get the light. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always been making songs, I guess, in my head since I was really young. And maybe when I was around 11 or 12, I was playing in a lot of rock bands in high school. And I loved playing instruments, still do, uh, guitar, bass, piano, drums. And I wanted to work out a way that I could like play everything at once. And so that sort of led me into starting to produce and record music so I could play the bass over the guitar and then put drums over it. And so when I was about 12, I started learning how to produce and I got really obsessed and I'm still obsessed. So nothing's changed there. Um, so I grew up in Canberra. And then after I finished high school, I moved to Sydney uh, when I was 17. And ever since then, uh, I've just been collaborating and working with different artists and maybe a few years ago i started to work a lot more with international artists uh artists in japan and then the states and then the uk and most recently i've been working with a lot of different artists and groups uh across asia so i've just relocated to japan and now i'm working mainly with japanese artists here Uh, yeah, yeah, multitasker, yeah. I do, yeah. I, I grew up speaking both languages in my household and being around both music cultures and, and TV and movies. So um, it's very much ingrained in me. Like I've got my Australian side when I'm back there and then when I'm here, I'm a lot more Japanese And I think that without a doubt plays a big role in the music I make and, and the way I, the, the person that I am, it's not really something that I consciously know which parts come from where. Um, I think it's just subconsciously when I'm just being myself, it's inherently a mix of my Australian and Japanese upbringing. Yeah. So The railroad crossing sound is a very familiar sound to anyone that's spent time growing up in Japan. And so I wanted to incorporate that into a song. I didn't I didn't go into the session when we made Express with the thought that I was going to use that sound. It was just sort of uh, as I was making different beat ideas in the studio, I just had this idea come into my head of using the The, the railroad crossing sample. So I dragged it in and, and started making uh, the rest of the beat and the drums around that. And then that ended up really kind of informing the lyrical concept for Leon. You know, the song's called Express and it's all about kind of movement and trains and, um, you know, being on the move essentially. And then we took that train concept and put it into the music video as well um, it's all you know taking place in train stations so it all started with this this one sample and it kind of blossomed into this lyrical and visual concept yeah anywhere at any time <laughs> as well anywhere anytime yeah it's, it's great it, it feels like we haven't really stopped because Maybe six months after we released our first song, which was one, two, three, four, we put that out in 2021. Uh, we started working in person in the studio in Japan. And kind of the the whole Griffin Tapes EP that's that's coming is kind of everything we've been working on since one, two, three, four. So uh I guess I guess from the from you know the fans and the listeners, it feels like we're back after a long time, but Um, we've very much been working on music for the whole time over the last two, three years. Yeah, so 
so I just put out my latest single with Leon. It's called Believe. And um, we've got some feature artists around the world. We've got Ramen Girl from Indonesia. We've got Sokodomo from South Korea and YNG Marta from Australia. And so it's a very it's a very global track. And the whole global idea is very much an integral part of the whole EP. I wanted to make what is essentially a, a, at the core a Japanese hip hop record, but then get a lot of guests and features from different countries um, with the hope that maybe listeners in Japan can hear or be introduced to a lot of cool talent that's, you know, popping off in other territories. And then listeners in other territories can get a taste of what Japan has to offer with hip hop. And the Griffin tape, funnily enough, uh, the, the, the Griffin is a mythical creature where, you know, it's got the, the head of a lion and the body of a hawk. And so my name, Taka, means hawk in Japanese and Leon's is a lion. So it just made a lot of sense to call it the Griffin Tapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a solo mate. <laughs> Oh, it's it's hard because there's a lot of artists that I would love to collaborate with. Um, I'm I'm always like conscious of what which artists I I I mention because I don't want to jinx working <laughs> with them. Um, but when it comes to like Asian hip hop, um, I would love to work with uh, a Thai rapper called Millie. I think her stuff is really cool. Um, she's got a lot of different different sounds. So hopefully, if I'm if I'm in Thailand at some point. Um, that would be a really cool collab. Yeah. So Thank you.